What's going on YouTube? It's your boy JMO704, man. I'm coming back with another video straight from the bathroom. And uh, and on today's video, man, I want to do a beard trim or beard lineup for you guys, man. Uh, as you know, well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But I've been letting my beard grow in more up here. I may post another picture up here so y'all can see where my beard line was at and where it's been at in comparison to where it's at right now. And I'm really liking the thicker, wider, full look that I have on, on both sides. So on today's video, man, I'm just going to be doing a simple little lineup, man. I just want to line it up, you know what I'm saying, get it nice and crispy through here, through here. Same thing on the other side. You know, I think I'm going to taper down these sides and, and clean up under the neck. So I'm going to show you all what, what I do for that. Not trying to do anything too crazy on this lineup, man. Just want to get it nice and nice and crispy. So, so man, we're gonna. Uh, so first, we're gonna kick it off. We're just gonna brush the sides down. And before I do any outlining, before I do my outline, I'm gonna come through with my uh, with my little razors right here. I got a number one guard on. So just gonna bring these sides down just just a little bit like I don't like my size being too thick you know so And I mean, I really didn't have a lot up here, so. Hey, man. And you know one thing, man. It does take time. It does take practice. Yeah, I can't tell y'all how many times, especially whenever I had hair, man, how many times I outlined myself and straight up just messed my hairline all the way up man messed up some beard trims too but over time man hey get better with it so all right so now i'm about to come through with my my t outliners man old faithful so again really just kind of want to clean this up so i'm just going to create a nice little line right here I think before that, I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna line this up on the back end first, clean up under the neck. Now I'm just gonna come straight, gonna follow the line. So, ooh, all right, just gonna clean up under the neck. You just want to make sure that whenever you're cleaning up under the neck, you just don't be shaving all the way up here, man. Getting rid of all your underbeard, man. It just looks crazy. I don't know why I be seeing some people do that, but... Alright. So, that. Now we're just going to come through. Thing for this, you know what I'm saying? I, for me, personally, man, I like keep my top of my beard kind of skinny and then just kind of have that that wide look throughout all right so we're just gonna follow the line man keep it simple so 
So another thing too, what I like to do, instead of starting up here at the top, I'm actually gonna start down here at the bottom and kind of follow it all the way up. Cause I'm afraid that if I start up here, up top, then I might just trim off too much. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and go up. You know, I had to stop real quick, but I'm being sure not to cut all the way on the line, just a little bit above, all right? Come through and clean all this up. Alright, how's it looking? Alright, it looks pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. And just as a reminder, guys, you know, your sides don't have to be identical. You know what I'm saying? Each side is unique. And so as long as they look like brothers, as long as they look like siblings, should be good, man. You know? All right. So. Steady hand, just a reminder, less, sometimes always more, man. So, all right. Oh well, yeah, both sides looking pretty, pretty good. So, hey man, I'm gonna shout out my boy, OG Fitzroy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he gave me this idea. Whenever he uses his straight razor, he likes to um, give it a, a little bit of oil and so i've been trying that and i actually like it so that's what we're gonna do to finish off this trim i actually need a new a new blade all right so we're just gonna tighten this up real quick Pull the skin. Just get up on there real. Clean up the, clean up these loose hairs and get right on it. Shoe, you don't need no Beijing, man. Look at that. Look at that. Boy, well, look at that line. Boy, that thing crisp. All right, now I'm about to hit the other side. I should have been a barber. No, nah, not really. And make sure you want to pull that, pull that skin. Boom. 
Mm. All right. So now let's go ahead and. So, yeah, man. This looks pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty even throughout here. Like I say, my mustache, I don't really do too much to it. I may, you know, trim a couple little loose hairs here and there, but for the most part, I don't really do anything with my mustache. So let's go ahead and untwist these twists. So up under the beard, man, that's gonna give you that, that fullness from the front and help with that transparency that some of our beers can have. So I've already put in my beard oil and my beard butter and my beard is feeling pretty good. So there's really no need in me applying any other products right now. So we're just gonna come through and just pick it out. So I'm gonna come through with my wide pick comb first. I always like to hit it with the wide pick first and then come through with the Chicago comb second. See how twisting up on the front kind of gives you that fullness right here in the front. But but that be looking. But that thing looking good, boy. Don't hate on me, man. Just just step your game up. You know what I'm saying? You can have a beard. Can't have no beard like mine, but you can have one. You know. Got my Chicago number 11 right here. So we're just going to come through with it. And as you see, man, you see how my picks is just going through my beard. Like butter, man. But see, that's what happens whenever you are consistent with your routine. You wash, you condition. You work out, you drink water, you eat decent foods, have some balance. So. All right. So, so y'all tell me, man. How's it look? One more time. Then, push down the sides. Boom. All right, so a little beard trim in 20 minutes. All right, so that's it, man. I'm ready to go out, attack the day, you know? Shit, shit, shit. Would that be a little straight? All right, I right, bet. So, Again, man, just want to be consistent with your routine all the way around. It makes it so much easier for you to run your picks, your combs through your beard whenever you are using a combination of a leave-in, beard oil, beard butter, especially at night, that is going to help with creating that softness that your beard needs whenever you decide to Run your pick through it, man. So, if you gain anything from the video, remember, go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Help your boy out, man. 
And uh, with that being said, man, if there's anything that you ever want to do in life, remember that it requires patience, consistency. More importantly, it don't happen overnight. See y'all on the next video. Peace.